Hi everyone, my name is Ankush Koyal and I'm a Senior Technical Account Manager at AWS. Hey there, um, my name is Karthik Ramkumar. I'm a Senior Product Manager at AWS. In today's video, we will talk about Amazon CloudWatch Network Monitor. In the first half, Karthik will talk about and give you an overview about the product. In the second half of the video, I'll give you a quick demo of the service. So Karthik, do you want to walk our viewers through what is the Amazon CloudWatch Network Monitor? Absolutely. Thanks, Akush. And thanks for the opportunity to uh, present this new feature as well. So uh, uh, Amazon CloudWatch Network Monitor is uh, one of the newest observability features that we have uh, as part of uh, our observability offering. Uh, so we released this just a couple of months ago in uh, December 2023. Uh, the main purpose of uh, this uh, particular feature is to demystify sort of the network performance issues uh, seen by our customers, right? Uh, so when uh, uh, se several uh, of our customers have questions uh, uh, such as uh, when they experience a slowdown in their network, uh, they're unsure whether it's an application that's causing the issue or the network underneath. Uh, that's causing the issue, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the the network teams in the customer organizations uh, oftentimes have to proactively prove that it was in the network, so they get the first burden to prove that. And uh, our, our customer uh, basically wanted a way from AWS to uh, have real time visibility into the network performance to show that it was the network or was it the application that's causing the issue. So uh, we we uh, had uh, our customers asking for this feature, and Amazon CloudWatch Network Monitor uh, is a result of uh, uh, the customer obsession that we have to solve this particular problem. So uh, we chose to have uh, this feature within Amazon CloudWatch, uh, uh, particularly, so that we can cater to both network and application personas, like I mentioned, Ankush, uh, because we want uh, this to uh, sort of break silos between both uh, network organizations and application organizations to use the metrics that we'll walk through in a little bit uh, to see that it can benefit both the teams. Mm -hmm. And the main goal here is to make our customers' lives easier through, in this case, by reducing the mean time to detection. So anytime they suspect there's an issue to the time they know what the issue is, we want to reduce that particular uh, amount of time. And a network monitor takes a big step towards achieving that. So. This is uh, some of the key reasons that we introduced this product. So that's great, Karthik. So can you talk about some of the key features about this product? A absolutely, Ankush. Happy to go into it. So uh, the CloudWatch Network Monitor that, that we just launched, uh, th there are some key tenets and key features here that I wanted to call out. Uh, number one is uh, we wanted to uh, have a network monitor give you a real-time visibility into your network performance, into your hybrid network performance. Uh, so when you say AWS hybrid networks, this comprises of side-to-side uh, -side VPN and direct connect as well uh, in, in our hybrid network offerings. Uh, and with real time, what we mean is we want this uh, data to be given to you uh, through active probes and active measurements uh, and not just a historical view of what the network performance was. Uh, this is important for several of our large customers who have very critical workloads running on AWS and they want to and know this data as soon as possible to make a split second or split minute decisions on what network actions to take, right? So uh, the, the real-time visibility was a key tenet for us. The other uh, in, uh, important uh, tenet for us was to have a fully managed solution. Uh, so this came from customer feedback where uh, the friction of uh, installing and deploying agents was causing our customer uh, 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 friction in, um, uh, scaling their uh, deployments. So we made a uh, network monitor a fully managed solution where uh, we take care of uh, installing and maintaining agents both on the VPC as well as the on-prem. So th there are no uh, agent installations needed by our customers and hopefully this helps them scale up and down very, very quickly. Right. Uh, yeah. The other thing, uh, the, in terms of metrics, Ankush, uh, just want to cover three of, three of the key metrics that are provided by network monitor. Um, so we, we provide performance metric, which is shown in the term, uh, which is shown as a round trip time uh, metric. So this covers the uh, uh, latency uh, performance of the network. We also show a uh, packet loss, which uh, gives customers a view of the availability of the connection itself uh, for, uh, for their hybrid uh, network connections. Uh, so in addition to that, we have a third metric called the network health indicator. Uh, mm -hmm. This metric currently works uh, only over AWS Direct Connect. 
But this is an insight that we want to give to our customers to reduce their mean time to debug that we looked at, Ankush. Uh, mm-hmm. So what we intend to do with a network health indicator uh, is let customers know what caused the issue or where the issue was in addition to telling them that there's an issue, right? So the packet loss and latency would uh, uh, basically let our customers know that there's an issue happening in the network. But the network health indicator would tell them if the issue is lying within AWS or if it's with outside AWS. So mm-hmm. by giving them this metric in real time, we're able to uh, have our customers reduce the debugging time and focus their energy and resources on the right place to monitor and uh, debug their issues. So this is a third metric that we have. Uh, and uh, currently, this works only over AWS Direct Connect. Okay. Yeah. And uh, finally, uh, uh, I'm going to hand it over to you, Ankush, for a demo. But uh, hopefully, the goal here is um, we've uh, simplified a lot of the setup. Uh, so uh, you, you can get started with the first network monitor by just choosing a source and destination for monitoring. And currently, this works for both IPv4 as well as IPv6 connection. So with that, I'll hand it back to you, uh, Ankush, and uh, uh, for, for a demo of the product. Sure, thank you so much, Karthik. And for demo, we'll go to our AWS console. For this demo, we will use this architecture. Here we have on-prem connected to AWS via Direct Connect. We have workload running across two different subnets, and it, these workloads need to communicate with on-prem application via Direct Connect. These workloads are very latency sensitive, and engineering team need to get alerted the moment they see there is an increase in latency and they need to take an action. For this, we will use CloudWatch Network Monitor. So when you create CloudWatch Network Monitor, AWS creates and manage all the infrastructure in the background. And this CloudWatch Network Monitor perform round trip time and packet loss measurement, and it sends all the data to your CloudWatch, where you can configure your alarms to get alerted. We can create CloudWatch network monitor via console by using any SDK or by using CLI. For this demo, we are going to use our AWS console to create CloudWatch network monitor. I've logged in into my AWS console and opened the CloudWatch service. Here towards the bottom, you will see network monitor. Then click on create network monitor. Here you can provide the name. Under advanced setting, you have option to choose aggregation period or aggregation interval, uh, which is in seconds. You can have option of 30 seconds or 60 seconds. It's basically that when the CloudWatch network uh, receive your packet loss or latency data, it aggregate for the 30 second or 60 second, and then it send it to CloudWatch. It also creates a role which grant access to your network monitor or give permission to network monitor to use CloudWatch on your behalf. Then you can uh, create the tags. Then you have to provide source and the destination. For the source, I'm going to use the subnets where my workload is running because I want to measure the latency from the subnet where my workload is running to the destination. And then you can provide the destination IP address. And this destination IP address can be your server IP address on the on-prem side, or it can be router, or it can be loopback IP address on your router. Under advanced setting, you have option to choose the protocol. You have option to use TCP or ICMP, and then the packet size. Uh, when uh, CloudWatch Network Monitor send a prop, it sends that packet of 56 byte in this case to a destination. And each prop in the monitor can have its own packet size. So right now I'm just selecting 56, but if you want, you can create a different uh, packet size for each prop. So in this case, I have two source two subnets and one destination. So it's going to create two different uh, props, one for the subnet one to this destination, another from the other subnet to this destination. And you can have one or multiple destination as well. Next, you will see all the props it has created. What are the packet size for those? Uh, Then you click on next. Here you can review all the options you have selected. And then you can click on create monitor. So it takes some time to create the monitor, collect the data, and start showing those results. So for this demo, I have already created a uh, DirectNet uh, monitor with, with the name DirectNet Monitor, which is which has four props for, from my these two subnets where my workload is running to the destination IP addresses. 
Uh, on the dashboard, you will see you have AWS Network Health Indicator, which tells you that for that selected time frame, which time frame is selected here, whether your AWS network was healthy or not. So if there is some issue in your AWS network health, uh, then it will show you the degraded. And this is just strictly for the TechNet and it's only measure or checks the health of the AWS portion of the network, not the customer side one. Next, you will see the packet loss and the round trip time uh, metrics. Here I have four props where two of the props have very high packet loss and I created it for the demo purpose so that I can show you the difference. And I have two of the props where I have zero packet loss. Then similarly on the round trip, you will see all the data related to the round trip time and how much latency is taking. Next, if you want to see for a particular prop, so you have all the props, you can click on a particular prop here and then you can get a, a data related to that particular prop as well, how much packet loss you're having, how much round trip it's taking. If you want to edit, you can edit the prop, you can change the IP address, you can change the protocol or the size of the particular prop as well. On the dashboard, on the top, you will also get the prop traffic summary. This is the average of all the props that how many props are in alarm. If you have any, if you've created any alarm based on your latency or packet loss, what is the average packet loss we're having across all the props and how much the round trip time it's taking. Next, if you want to create the alarms, you can go to the alarms and you can create an alarm by using uh, network monitor metrics. So you can select the network monitor and then whatever metrics you want to select, you can create alarm based on that. And then you can send a notification to your engineering team. So that was a quick demo on CloudWatch Network Monitor. You saw how quickly you can create this and start getting metrics around your network connection and set up alarms to get alerted whenever there is some packet loss on latency related issue in your network. So Karthik, before we wrap it up, do you have any other thing or availability or pricing related information for our customers? Yeah, absolutely. Just wanted to leave uh, viewers here with, with a few more pieces of information. Uh, so uh, the availability, uh, we rolled this out, uh, Ankush the Network Monitor uh, offering uh, globally. So right now it's available in 18 AWS commercial regions. Uh, our documentation page covers regions, but uh, it's available in all major continents and all the major regions that we have. Uh, in terms of pricing, Ankush, uh, we have a uh, pay-as-you-go pricing for it. So it's purely a consumption-based pricing model. Uh, and the main goal of the pricing model is to help our customers uh, scale monitoring along with the VPC deployments because they go hand in hand. So uh, wherever, whichever region they have VPC deployments spun up, network monitors can be uh, spun up there as well. Uh, so right now, uh, as we saw in the demo, uh, Ankush, uh, 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 the each VPC that we monitor can have up to four destinations, and that's included in the price of a single monitor. So mm -hmm. uh, the four destinations basically give you the resiliency needed to monitor your network. Uh, and then in addition to that, uh, just the last note here, Ankush, would be the metrics that uh, get produced by network monitor. Uh, those are subject to existing CloudWatch pricing and retention. So based on what aggregation period and what uh, uh, what which aggregation period gets uh, configured, uh, retention is dictated by that. So uh, that that is uh, uh, some of the things that I want to leave my customers with. Sure. Thank you so much, Karthik, for all the information. I hope uh, our customers or our viewers will learn something new from this video and uh, they will try out this this new product. Thank you so much and many congratulations to your team for launching this. Thanks again for the opportunity, Ankush. Really happy to do this. Thank you.